Hi, Dr. Galani. I appreciate your interest in pink ecula and pterygium surgery. And let me start off first by saying, I'm sure you're aware of the symptoms you all are facing, though it's so different for each one of you. And it can range from anything from dryness to foreign body sensation, to irritation, to sand-like feeling of the eyes, burning, even affecting your vision to some aspect. And in many cases, being severe enough that it's difficult for you to even keep your eyes open in a gust of wind. Um, the other thing I want to emphasize on is I've seen patients who have flown to me from as far as Hong Kong, Australia for such small growths. You know what a pinnacular pterygium is. It's a little growth on the eye, on the white of your eye. Usually medial can be lateral and both sides too, as I've seen. The small growths are called pinnacular. The bigger ones that look like a wing of a butterfly, that's where the word comes from, pterygos, are pterygiums. So, the symptoms could range from anything, from just a sand pebble in the eye feeling to the looks of the eye where you look red and tired all the time. And I don't like the fact that many of you have come to me and told me that your doctors have told you it's vanity and live with it. That's incorrect. Because I've seen, like I said, so many of you from all over the world who've flown to me and have various complaints, not only of the symptoms that you have, but the how you psychologically feel with this in your eye. Because people look at your eyes and make judgment. So you might be self-conscious, uh, you might be uh, concerned about what someone else is thinking about you, and you could even be less confident in your business meeting or social gatherings. And this can range right up to not only being self-conscious, but even having low self-esteem and to the point of depression in some cases. So yes, it's to be taken seriously. Yes, your doctor should take a look and make a judgment call based on what is needed, right? Another thing, don't blame yourself for it too much. Um, people keep uh, blaming patients saying they've been in the sun and they didn't protect your eye. That is right to some extent, but again, with over three decades of experience of mine and having done surgeries on patients pro bono close to the equator where there's tremendous sunlight, but I've seen kids over there, seven, eight year olds with growths on both sides of both eyes. How do you explain the exposure of sunlight in just that many years? So genetics has a big role to play according to me. Genetics has a trigger role and then you worsen it by your activities like exposure to sunlight unprotected. Uh, that's why we also done a lot of professional golfers, surfers. So it's called surfer's eyes, golfer's eyes, etc. So those are the few things I first want to make sure you're aware of and you can actually identify with because I've seen you all with symptoms from all over from different cultures and you all have the same symptoms, complaints, and histories. Now, what can be done for it is uh, we've actually honed a surgery over the last three decades to a level that I'm extremely pleased with its outcomes and track record. It's a surgery which is known to be a Golani iceberg concept where I remove the entire lesion that you have without leaving anything over there, no roots, and therefore the recurrence is close to zero. And we've actually published our uh, textbook on this topic and uh, three decades of my work and uh, I've written or authored a textbook for eye surgeons all over the world, which we released at the American Academy uh, in California. And uh, my desire to teach is always there, as I'm doing right now, is not only to patients, but to your eye doctors, eye surgeons, optometrists, everybody in the eye care field, that this can be corrected. So don't lose hope. Second, the surgeries that I do involves human placenta, which is all tested. It comes fully tested and comes from the industry packaged and um, I use it without any stitches, without any needles, with glue. Um, so what I do is I remove your pingecula or pterygium and without cutting it, and I remove the entire piece and then I go and I put a human placenta on the white of your eyeball with glue. And in that fashion, not only have I removed the lesion and replaced it with tissue, which is human placenta, which we know has great uh, growth uh, factors and uh, chemicals that are so nice for rejuvenating our eyes, but also at the same time, I aim for cosmetic endpoints. Therefore, many of our patients actually gave it the name Sparkle and I, and I thought of an acronym with it, so we have published it as the Sparkle Technique, which is S-P-A-R-K-L-E, which is sutureless, meaning without stitches, pterygium, which is for fee, A-R is amniotic reconstructive, and L-K-E is lamellar keratectomy, which is removing the scarf out of it. So the Gulani Sparkle Technique is what has come to be known as, it's the no stitch technique, to removing your pingecula antirigums and setting you free, not only from the symptoms, but also the appearance of your eyes, where we make patients go after the mirror next day to look at their eyes, and that's my pleasure. Again, none of this is a guarantee, please, but this is my desire that I've been encouraging eye surgeons for, uh, encouraging my patients with, and have our patients, I think, all over um, 
sharing their outcomes with, uh, with all of you. And another important thing to remember is many of you are told that you are not candidates for LASIK surgery or premium cataract surgery because of your tourism and pinacula. Again, completely wrong. The surgery is so, it is so atraumatic to the eyeball that given the way I corrected without stitches, without cutting the cornea, basically you are a candidate for laser vision surgery, not LASIK. Remember, there's a special technique I do for pingacular tourism patients to make you see without glasses and contact lenses, that's laser plastique. A no cutting technique without blades, without cutting, and in a smooth way, shaping your cornea so you can see without your nearsightedness, astigmatism, farsightedness, and even reading glasses. And all that is important because I don't want you to wear a contact lens after the surgery or damage the area of surgery. You can, you're also a candidate for premium cataract surgery because now that your pterygium pingicula is gone, we can accurately measure your lens and do a premium multifocal lens or toric lens and make you see without glasses from cataract surgery too. Additional very important point, nearly 100% of patients who come to me with pingicula pterygium have associated dry eyes. That's what I mentioned in my textbook too. So besides correcting your dry eyes, which I've explained on this website and in my previous surgical videos is the human placenta that I use itself also corrects your dry eyes because that's one of its great totipotent or rejuvenating factors for your eye surface. So when I operate on your pingacula or pterygium, I have not only the aim to remove your entire lesion so your recurrence rate is close to zero, but also to improve your vision if I can by clearing the scars out and additionally correcting your dryness that you have associated and even more than that if you still have glasses or contacts that you wear or are about to go in for cataract surgery then make you a candidate for that rather than not a candidate anymore so i hope this helps you understand how pingicular pterygium are related how dry eye is always associated with it so it's not a surprise how the treatment has to be customized to you whether it's my moist therapy technique for dry eyes which i custom designed or whether it's my surgical techniques that I've written about without stitches called the Golani Sparkle Technique. And with that, free you up so you can enjoy your life and face the world with confidence again. So here I am and uh, our website is a tremendous source for you. All the resources I've put in there, not only for you to understand what other patients have gone through over here from all over the world, but also for doctors, articles that you can read and get more knowledgeable, come back with more questions to me. And um, look forward to seeing you. Any questions, don't hesitate. Me and my amazing staff right here in Jackson, Florida, look forward to welcoming you. Dr. Kalani.